such a tight time frame here uh, with so many of us speaking. So I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit and go into some of my slides. But um, we were involved very much in the clean water uh, project for the when we went to the Dominican Republic. And we worked with the, uh, we went to an area called San Francisco de Macaris. And it's about two hours north of um, Santa Domingo. And what was kind of unique about our trip is that we actually went on our <coughs> trip to do the LN4 project, which Jim's going to talk <coughs> about that. But what came out of it was something really fabulous, that we had 17 Rotary Clubs that actually helped us with our project. And then the San Francisco Club, they were very passionate about doing something. This is the San Francisco Rotary Club. Um, they were very passionate about doing something <coughs> to improve um, the, uh, the flow of water at the Julio Plata de la Rosa Elementary School. And this is a school with about 300 students, and they had no running water. And what they showed us is there was a, an aqueduct that was about 800 meters away from the school, but there was no way to get that water to the school. So that's what we did. We got involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went ahead and we contributed $2,500, which actually took care of the entire project. And what they were able to do is go ahead and run the PVC pipe, uh, put in the filtering system, put a tank, a 450-gallon tank on top of the school so they could actually have running water. And um, it's always, you know, a good feeling when you actually get a little thank you from the um, students, and you can see how they were thanking you know, the Rotary Club of Dublin. But I think the fact that we did it in conjunction with another uh, Rotary Club, that that was really great. So we really appreciate the fact that we were able to help them. And we had a lot of fellowship in the meantime as well. Mm -hmm. And now they 